Anybody, we need at least a couple of guys from each unit to be down here on the stage. We'll go, we'll do a like, like a. Said we'll have a uniform uh, review. That way. Okay, full kit. That way they can see what you guys look like in combat. What to say about our next speaker? I had the honor of escorting this young lady last weekend for the Freedom Ride in Washington, D.C. Um, this young lady has uh, done more for veterans. I don't know what to say. Uh, you hear her story and what she's done. This kid is really amazing. Missy Sawyer, everyone. My name is Sawyer Hendrickson. I am a National Child Advocate for our Veterans, Active Duty Military, and our Fallen Heroes. I am 10 years old and I am from Ludington. Today we are all gathered here for the 75th anniversary of D-Day on the LST 393. It is one of only two landing ship tanks that survived in its original state. She was commissioned in 1942 and her four short years she logged 51,817 nautical miles and earned three battle stars, one of which was for the D-Day invasion of Normandy. I was originally going to spend my speech talking about how many brave heroes were wounded or lost on D-Day, but there does not seem to be any confirmed actual numbers as the research I have done gives, gives several different accounts. I don't... I don't totally understand what D-Day was, and many of the people here probably don't know either. It was 75 years ago. We all just hear of it being the largest amphibious invasion in the history of our military. I know that it took years to organize, that hundreds of thousands of men and millions of tons of weapons and equipment were transported across the Atlantic Ocean in advance of the operation. It is not my intention today to try and help you understand what D-Day was. I came here to honor the brave men and women that are here today and those that can hear my voice truly, truly understand what the meaning of D-Day is. I know there aren't many left of you that actually stood on the beaches of Normandy, but as I look into the crowd of veterans, I know that so many of you had your own D-Days, and you understand what today means, and I thank you for your sacrifice and service. Your road was long and hard. The enemy was strong. You were tired and sore and would not rest until victory was won. Some of you may have never gone beyond the water or the beach, but you would not return home the same because of the marks left from this day in the violence of war. You are the fortunate ones. So many of our heroes have never returned home. As the years go by, World War II and its greatest battles become more of a series of dates on a calendar and locations on a map as fewer veterans are left to remember what those dates and places really were. Much of what I do is to honor those fighting for my freedom and those who have fought. I think it's important that I and all of you here Remember that Normandy is more than just a place on a map in France. I think it's more important that I and all of you here remember that Normandy is just more than a place. 
Just as Midway is more than a spot in the ocean, in all the greatest battles won and lost by brave men and women, who serve are more than just states and places. They are life-changing events in our history with our military that made it possible for me to live in a free country where I can pursue my dreams. I currently have an older brother serving overseas in our United States Marine Corps, fighting for my freedom just as all of you did. Too often in our busy everyday lives, we as a nation forget to say thank you. We shouldn't have to have a reminder on our calendar that it's Memorial Day, Veterans Day, or even D-Day. Those that put service before self should be thanked every day. That is what I try to do. It isn't hard to say thank you, extend a handshake, or a hug to let those know that they are appreciated. For our veterans who signed a blank check made payable to the United States for the up to and including their life. Today and every day, we all must remember, understand, and never forget that our freedom isn't free. It's really that simple. Being a patriot is not being political. I am not a Republican or a Democrat. There is no left or right to me. I am just 10 years old. I am a proud American. I am pro-military. And until my brother and all of our troops come home safely, I will continue to bleed red, white, and blue. I thank you all for your service and sacrifice to our great nation and for fighting for my freedom and that of generations to come. You are all heroes to me, and I would not be standing here freely if it wasn't for all of you. Thank you all for coming here today to remember D-Day on its 75th anniversary upcoming June 6th. Thank you for supporting those who so bravely serve our country. Thank you for continuing to honor and remember our fallen heroes and prisoners of war and missing in action. May God bless all of you here. May God bless all of our veterans. May God bless those who are currently serving our country. May God bless the families of our fallen heroes. May God bless the families of our veterans. And most importantly, may God bless America. Thank you and so Thank you, Sawyer. Thank you very much.